Yo what is going on people, welcome to another Desi tutorial video. So in this video I'm going to show you how to make textures and put them in game. Now you can do this with anything you want as long as you've got the correct config. So first you want to make a folder, man's a long time underscore clothing. Then you want to have your config ccp, I will upload this and leave the link in the description. Then you want to create a folder called data. Now in that folder, you don't need to have these folders, I just have them there because it looks cleaner. Now if I go into shirts, I've got some of these, I've got a hoodie, I've got a backpack. So once I go in here, what I want to do is I want to open up my text view. So what I would do is go see Steam Apps, Steam Apps, Common. Daisy tools. You want to go into your bin and you want to go image to PIA and you want to go text view. You want to go file open, find your directory where your thing is. So mine's long term clothing, data, shirts. I'm going to open up the McDonald's shirt. This is what I made. And you want to go file save as and you want to put two A's at the end of it. Once you've done that, now you have that in there. So you can go back to long time clothing and go into the config. Now this up here needs to be whatever your folder name is. I would recommend that. Now these are what add-ons it's like it looks for basically. So if I was to copy this and put anti hackier for an example, right? That was my PBO. If you was to launch this PBO and you did not have that PBO on your PC, it would not launch. It well, it would launch. It would come up with an error though, say blah de blah. So obviously, I don't need that for this. So I'm just gonna get rid of that. Now here is what it's looking for. So mountain bag. This is a T-shirt, um, and this is a hoodie. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy this. Then I'm going to paste it underneath from the McDonald's shirt. Now this is a class name. This can be anything you want. So that doesn't matter what it's called. All what matters is that when you search something in, this will be the class name for it. Now I would recommend using underscores and stuff like that because it's just better. Now, obviously here I haven't spelt McDonald's correctly, so put that there. So I'm going to put McDonald's underscore ML underscore shirt. Now the display name and the description doesn't matter what it is, so I'm just going to put McDonald's here and McDonald's there. Now this is vital because this is looking for the texture. So as you can see, long time clothing, data and shirts. This is looking for the folder so that's all right what i'm going to do though is i'm going to click f2 control a so i get it all and then what i want to do is i want to paste it above all of this now what these are is this carries on the code if you don't have that comma there it will end it which you don't want you want to have the comma there now at the end you must have the three semicolons. Don't matter what it is, you're better off just having three there. So then what you want to do once you've done that is you want to open up Add-on Builder. So yet again you want to go Steam Games, Steam Apps. Well this is my directory maybe for you it's different but this is where I go. You want to go to Add-on Builder, you want to open up Add-on Builder. Now as you've done that up here you want to click that button and you want to find where it is so that long term clothing. This is going to where my folder is so if you see at tutorial add-ons and then you just click pack and then you wait for it to do. Now I would recommend going to watch my video on how to actually go on in and use admin tools on your custom map gear so this is what I use to actually spawn in my clothes. So once you're in game, I'm currently on my map, you want to press Y and you want to go to 
or B. Now what I'm going to do is type ML into the search, into the class name, because I know that my things are called ML. So as you see, McDonald's shirt, we're going to put ground, and it's spawning. So what I want to do, I'm going to take the backpack off, take my shirt off, I'm going to take everything move it all because I want to be you know clean. so we're gonna pick it up and then we put it on as you can see if we click we go oh it's a bit hard to do there we go we got a McDonald's shirt obviously it's pixelated because my settings aren't fully up but as you can see McDonald's there we've got this woman now and now you know what she's gonna do She's gonna work at McDonald's, mate. Yo. Hello, how can I help you today, sir? Yeah, hey, well, I want a Big Mac. Okay, sir. There you go. Right, so thanks for watching anyway. If you do have any questions, leave it down below. Remember to join my Discord, remember to subscribe, remember to like, and I will be streaming. I stream, try to stream nearly every day, Matt Dev, but you know, sometimes things can get a bit boring, and obviously you don't want to do it. Well, look, we've got a McDonald's t-shirt, there's more to come, and I'm probably going to release some of the t-shirts when I do done them. They don't look all good at the moment, you know, because I was just testing them out, and so I tried to get it working, and obviously they do work, so thanks for watching.